We here in the United States and in Israel share a commitment to provide quality health care to our citizens. And we stress that you can do never enough in research to find cures for terrible diseases, both here in America and in Israel. We have become global partners, fostering and sharing medical advancements for the betterment of humanity. With our help, the Global Medical Partnership flourishes. This charity event that you are attending and with your support allows 15 new Rabin Fellows in the United States who in 2015 will come here to share their expertise and to learn and to observe and to practice in our very best medical centers. Rabin Medical Center maintains strong institutional relationships with Memorial Sloan Kettering, with Mount Sinai of New York, with Dana-Farber, and with the Stanford Medical Center, just to name a few. The daily work at this Rabin Medical Center perpetuates the legacy of this great man and the legacy of coexistence heralded by him. Rabin Medical Center has the most advanced cancer center and genetics institute in Israel. It is home to a prominent women's hospital and a leading transplantation center that handles 70 percent, 70 percent of all the organ transplants in Israel. Rabin is at the top of the list for clinical research among hospitals in Israel. And this March, its doctors were among the first worldwide to conduct, conduct genetic screening on men to probe for prostate cancer. This hospital fulfills Yitzhak Rabin's dream of coexistence, providing humanitarian aid in places such as India and Haiti and Africa. Rabin Medical Center also serves as a bridge to peace with Israel's Palestinian neighbors. Rabin Medical Center treats one million patients annually. The hospital staff, comprised of Israeli Jews and Arabs, numbering 4,000 500 doctors and nurses. They treat all patients equally. They treat all patients equally. Israeli, Jews, Arabs, Christians, with the same compassionate care. Rabin Medical Center continues to treat annually thousands upon thousands of Palestinians from the West Bank and Gaza with hospitalization and ambulatory care. And during the recent war in August, Ravine Medical Center doctors were stationed in the field hospitals on the Gaza-Israeli border that treated wounded Palestinians. The work of the American Friends of Ravine Medical Center is vital to the mission that they were on, this mission of a great hospital in Israel. And you here this evening, all of you and each of you, are an integral part of that work as partners and as friends. Tonight, we celebrate the August inauguration of Rabin Medical Center's new Emergency and Trauma Center. That is a 54,000 square foot facility. It is the largest facility of its kind in the Middle East. Proceeds from previous galas helped to establish this new enterprise. I'm pleased to announce that the new trauma wing has been named, has been named after the American Friends of Rabin Medical in recognition of what all of you have done, a generous effort on behalf of the hospital that bears the name of Yitzhak Rabin. Thank you. Upon, upon its opening, the new emergency and trauma center treated wounded soldiers and traumatized citizens from the war in Gaza a time of great challenge between both then and now. Rabin Medical Center continues in its mission as a leading global hospital ready to help every patient in need of medical treatment and healing. 